Good day, tubes! Holy windy! <laughs> this has been one of the windiest days I've seen. Well, actually, there was quite a few through the winter that were pretty windy. But a really mild, super mild, like 14 degrees, 15 degree day, but windy, as you can kind of hear, probably, no doubt. But anyways, uh, whoo-wee! I was kind of wanting to get out and start cleaning up some of my winter stuff today, not necessarily driving the big... Whoa! Driving the big tractor. See what I mean? Let's go sit in the truck while we talk. Okay. Woo! Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, start cleaning up around some of the uh, winter graves and stuff that I've had there, you know, cleaning up the gravelly stuff and all that kind of stuff. And I thought, oh sweet, I got that uh, sweeper brush thing for my uh, one weed whacker attachment thingy there. And uh, that should work awesome. I actually tried it. Didn't have my camera with me. I'm sorry about that. Tried her and holy man, there's no way I'm using that thing. <laughs> that thing is just, it just bites in and then it's up like this and it's up in your face. And it's like, holy, you can't even hold her back because it's got so much traction there with those bristly brushes grabbing the ground, right? Now they do have another attachment and it's like a paddle brushy kind of thing. Kind of paddly, it's a round thing like that, but it's a paddly kind of thing. And I know they're kind of more meant for, for that because it doesn't actually bite in so hard, but it, it, it'll paddle the stuff away for you, right? So we're going to maybe pop up to the old John Deere today and see if they got one of them in stock. Hopefully they do. If not, then I guess we can order one and go pick her up later. Later this week, no doubt. Uh, there is another place on the way up there, but I'll just I'll order it from them guys if they don't have it. They'll probably have it anyways. But uh, anywho, uh, we still got lots of water laying around everywhere. I have never seen water laying here before. And uh, further up on her property over there, there's some water. I a lot of times see it down over here off her driveway and then some more down over off the boulevard on this side. But never, ever have I ever seen it there. <laughs> so that's really weird. It's really, really wet right now. Another big rain last night. Oh, my poor sump pump is just going like nuts. Uh, it's not solid running like uh, the ones from yesterday there, but uh, she's, uh... oh, that guy's crazy. Motorcycle? Oh, I don't think I'd really myself want to be out there today. But anyways, to each his own, they say. But uh, yeah, so anyways, we're just going to grab a quick bite to eat before we head her out here. I'm going to fire this up and see what temperature we got here. It's actually humid out here today. I'm sweating, like, really? Holy. I'm not really used to that. <laughs> 17 degrees. And with all this moisture around, of course, the sun bakes her onto the ground, and then it just vibrates, evaporates into the air, and then you get all this humidity. But uh, what do they say tomorrow? Uh, it's... Totally weird weather coming up, like really weird. Okay, so 17 today, tomorrow, an evening overnight, minus two. Go figure that out. But anyways, oh, somebody not feeling too good today, stay home from school. Better let him in, I guess. Oh, there he goes. Well, being kinda hoty and humid out today, it's probably a good time to, uh, Test our AC friend, see how much cooler we feel are coming here. You let me know if you feel our cooler to your vents, Dilly. Oh, I think it's feel like it's getting a bit colder. That's a good sign. I'm kind of glad of that. Sometimes if you haven't used her over the winter, they'll just kind of stop working and then about January and they don't let you know anything about it, and then all of a sudden you get to like, you know, a nice hot humid day, and then you turn it on, it's like, oh really? <laughs> But it seems like it's pumping out a bit of cold air there, so that's a good thing. That makes me happy. This thing's always been like super good and cold, so it's one good thing about this truck is the air conditioning still works pretty good. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I guess we'll head her out. Oh man, this is supposed to be a sod field. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We actually almost got white caps happening here. Oh look at this, look at this guy way back in there too. I think it might be a road back there, I don't know. Oh, late white caps. <laughs> there you can see uh, some of the sod field there. A sod for your front lawn, right? Oh man, this is nasty. Well, she's gonna be definitely watered. Holy Nikes. 
all the way up to the keep going here all the way up to the building almost here looks like oh wow that's a lot of flooding waters let me tell you it's not uh, getting away all it is puking out here pretty good though out to the other side but that's about all it's doing it's not going anywhere else holy I feel bad for them guys oh i guess i won't be cutting sod today rain's coming in my window too here oh yeah there's a road there there's a guy in the van okay i see it looked like he was out in the middle of the field but anywho go fishing anybody it's like chopping up against the fence and everything there oh man what a mess just down there at those side hills and then we come up to the bridge and looks like a fishing area under this bridge you can sit there and fish iron man this is the one i was telling you about buddy um we can park you know here whatever and then go underneath the bridge and then fish into the river but there's a, a little bit big of a river right now maybe perhaps oh man there's gonna be no fish left buddy no fish left holy cow i can't even tell where the river is supposed to be but uh down in there somewhere is an actual river. <laughs> we'll come back here sometime and show you that too. Nice little ride up on the bike. There's actually, I think it starts around here somewhere with the rocks. And uh, we usually sit sort of over underneath there, underneath the bridge. But it looks like she's all soaked right now. That is a lot of water. Well, you can almost kind of tell where the river is because you can see a tree there. It'll be a shore, so it kind of goes up snakes up kind of through way up there so this is not all supposed to be here this whole area here wow it's gonna be growing out their bank quite a bit there too it looks like that's not good and uh, yeah it looks like it may be <laughs> there too and oh man what a thing and then now uh, the cars here too you know? this is uh, the side it's kind of tree in holy that's a lot water coming down through there man oh man okay about five minutes from john deere let's go uh see some some wet deers well we made her to the good old deer oh man look at the size of these rollers i got out front here must be springtime holy cow look at the people here that's the guy that that we seen there in the back of that field i think maybe not i don't know oh look at these rollers those are awesome might need those. No, I got a roller point. There's lots of tractors up here. We're gonna we'll have to look at after the holy cow. They've really stocked her up lately. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and see. Um, there's actually the still attachments right there. This sort of area. So I'll go see if they got a, a brusher thing. I can see right in the window they got uh, the bristly brush one right there. That's the one I got that didn't work too well on the grass. So I'll head her inside and see if they can get me a, a paddle one. Paddly paddly. Well, she's raining and crappy, but we'll have a little drive-by maybe. I don't think I'll get out in this crap. And the windy, it's wicked windy up here too. But anyways, I think these are either coming on trade or um, they're customers maybe in for sale. These, so that big one there anyways, these be all new ones over here. Oh, a 5075E. 50, Look at the tires in the front of that. I kind of like that. 58, 50, 50, 85E, a little bigger. 6105, getting bigger again. 6150, bigger again. I still got this thing sitting here. Forge harvester, oh, look at this. Oh, that is so cool. Imagine that thing in the mud. Holy, that'd be awesome. But, uh, oh, still got this one here too. Look at the rubber on this thing. Holy jumping. Can you imagine how much it would cost to change all them? If you had to get new tires. And a couple few more up here. And another big couple of fellers there. Another big brand new one that looks like. Combine-ish. And it looks like this one was maybe traded in. Big old case. And what do we got down here now? Another big one. Big old combine. I like the loader on this feller here. Oh, let's back up here and have a look at this thing. That's a big loader. That would lift some weight, I would think. Holy. Oh, 
what else we got down here? Or just some smaller subcompacty stuff down behind there. 3000 series stuff. But look around the corner here. There's this great big uh, planter machine here. Just a massive huge thing. Probably planter fertilizer. A little bit of everything. Look at all the gearing and machinery and chains and stuff you got to keep after there too. These things fold out it looks like to the second second stage. Holy jumper, that's a lot of stuff to be looking after. But anyways, looks like they do some other work on some other stuff here too. Buddy's big case ripped apart here. Holy, talk about huge mother. Oh man, I was going to say, holy cow, we got four tires on that side, but I think they've just rolled these two over to this side. <laughs> oh man. And there you go, a nice big sprayer. 4720 John Deere sprayer. That'd be awesome in mud, wouldn't it? Tires are so skinny, you're up so high. Oh man, that'd be awesome. Anyway, so uh, let's head her home and uh, show you what we picked up here today. All right, so there's our little spiky things, little spiky fellers, and uh, they work pretty good on like uh, the, uh, the the pavement and asphalt and stuff. But you get it on dirt, it's pretty grippy and it doesn't really work so super well. So they also have this idea here which is more like a rubbery paddly kind of thing for on your grassy sort of stuff. And uh, got some extra drive deweys, which I don't think I'm gonna need, but there we go. Sort of like a rubbery paddly thing, it's almost like a new rubber raft. <laughs> anyways, uh, these things should, oh. Man, oh man, dive bombers. Uh, anyways, these things should pull off as they do and uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna need these other plastic thingies but anyways these things should should slide on probably easier if I had two hands hmm what is going on here now it feels okay there. Oh, I see. There's a like a hollow thing in the middle there. So you just got to get them started and lined up. Ah. Uh huh. Huh. Ah. Oh. Well. Well, there's one side. I don't think there's a left and right side. I don't think there is, anyways. I'm pretty much sure the labels go out. Okay, so she should be, pardon me, good for grass. Grass now, so. Yeah, that's a extra bit we don't need. And then there's, uh, uh, what is this now? End cap things for something and some extra, extra little clips. And oh, they even send you some air filters. Hmm, wonder why they send you an air filter. That's interesting. Mine's already got an air filter, but, hmm. Anywho, uh, let's take her, it's not really raining now, so let's take her out there and try her. Should have tried her before I took those things off and shown you those too, but anyways, uh, let's uh, take this out. I got a bit of gravelly stuff on the grassy stuff over here and we'll try her out here. Well, this is actually kind of mushy yet, but you know, I kind of wanted to get things rolling here, so when I am ready to rock, I can just hit her at her, but Anyways, uh, here we go. See the bit of gravelly stuff and stuff over there that's got pushed off in the snow there. So we'll see if we can clear this whole corner up here.
we go, a little paddle work, a little bit of brushing work. Works pretty good, but uh, like I say, on the grass, no, not so good. Oh, must have got that gearbox hot. It's warm. <laughs> She's warm. It's sort of meant to do that, though, so... Um, the, uh, the actual one I was going for was basically these paddles, exactly what you see with the shaft and all the gearbox, but uh, he's like, well, you already got the brush, right? I'm like, yeah. Well, they didn't actually have this attachment with the, the paddles on it, so he's like, well, you already have the brush, don't you? I'm like, oh, yeah. He's like, well, why don't you just get the, the paddle kit for it? I'm like, well, I guess we could do that. I didn't know it even, didn't even know it existed, but yeah, so we ended up getting that. It's dirty now, <laughs> and uh, worked good, I'll tell you. A lot better than on the, uh, with this thing on there. This thing's really only good for hard surfaces, I guess, where this is. Could probably do both, but on the asphalt and stuff, it'd wear it off real fast. So, we'll have to, uh, even these are starting to wear down a bit, but lots of life in this thing, you know, goes a long way. So, and then I guess when they're wore down, you just get that new kit and away you go again, right? So, but uh, that'd be a lot of brushing, let me tell you. That was, worked pretty good. Pretty mushy, muddy, crappy crap here, though, but... Uh, Oh, it's just the time of the year, and look what I just noticed. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, she's not new now, boys. I guess she's not new now, but anyways, the rain will probably take care of that. Feels like it's starting up again, so... Yeah, I'm a little kind of concerned that the gearbox got so hot, but... Uh, I guess that's a lot of friction maybe in there when I'm really... And that motor's pretty beefy it just drives her like it's not even there pretty much so it made her work a little bit but uh, that's the uh, ooh, that's pretty hot too the, uh, the KM 130 she's a big feller a big feller so she works good though I'll tell you weed whacker attachment on that holy shnikes man oh man just blow weeds away like you wouldn't believe well, that's not actually getting too hot maybe it's a good thing I wasn't doing much more <laughs> I might have melted her down there's supposed to be a bunch of grease and stuff in them things too, and uh, hopefully it's all right. I, can, I can't really tell where the filler dewy is for it, but uh, I can't tell without taking a dewy off here, maybe. Maybe we'll pop a dewy off again here. Yeah, supposed to be uh, grease in there, but it's pretty darn warm, I'll tell you. It's uh, pretty hard, I guess, maybe on it, though, but uh, it's what they're meant for, so drive on, I guess, all we can do. So, uh, I'll put that on when it's not so gooey. Ugh. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's a pretty nice attachment there. Pretty sweet having these paddle things. I'll be able to use them pretty good. Uh, whenever it does dry up a bit, you can see it was kind of making her kind of muddy, crappy there, but uh, the rain will wash that away, but knocked off all the rocks and mushed everything around, so... She left uh, quite a pile of crap on the side of the road. I'll have to go by with the loader bucket now and uh, scoop all that up and get rid of her. But uh, yeah, it's probably kind of good. I got a spare set of these things now too. And I guess these things just lock in with those pins. They'll just push down through, I guess. And then uh, yeah, pretty kind of cheesy, but it seems to work, I guess. All that is is well, no, there's a. Uh, which I'm gonna call it shape on that too. So that's yeah, okay. That just keeps it from falling off and that's all that is But uh, yeah, pretty sweet. But anyways, uh, well, I guess that's probably it for today uh, Just too cruddy of a day tomorrow. I don't even know we might not get too much going this week at all Just maybe one of those weeks, you know tomorrow's supposed to be like cold and the next day is like Minus three or something again like really everything's gonna freeze up again Ah, oh, Welcome to Canada, eh? but uh, I don't know, whatever. We'll uh, get working on some of this hopefully soon, and if it dries up a bit, and uh, probably probably soon we'll have to think about switching the uh, mower back onto the uh, the big tractor again, and uh, the little tractor again, and uh, go uh, get that ready to rock again, because it won't be probably too long. That grass will start growing again. But uh, today would have been a good day for getting her going, but. I think the ground's still pretty cool yet, so it's not going to probably grow much, but uh, now it's going to cool right off again, and it'll just put her right back into a dormant again, so I don't know, whatever, it's the way she works. But anyway, so I'm going to head her home, I guess, that's about it for today. Uh, it's mostly a day of driving again, holy cow, that sure takes up a lot of time, I guess, you know, but uh, it's the way that works, but 
Anywho, uh, you guys have a good day, a good night, and thanks again for watching today. Hope you enjoyed her, and we'll catch you, I can't really say when, tomorrow, the next day, whatever, something comes up, I, I don't know, no, no idea yet. Just uh, the middle of the doing stuff kind of thing here, right? So, it's a bit too early to, you know, start turning the water on and all that stuff, because it'll freeze up again, and I don't know, there's just between things, I guess, right? So, uh... But uh, anyways, have a good night. Thanks again for watching. We will catch you when we catch you.